Oh, yep, yeah, slipping. Oh, oh, that happened. TJ here, welcome back to another workout for a TJ's Fit Challenge. Now last time we did our first exercise in Ring Fit Adventure. If you recall, we used this ring con thingy right here to push inward and pull outward. If you don't have one, don't worry, you can just use your hands. You can push in, push your hands together or pull out like that and you'll be able to follow along just fine. In our last episode, we were able to beat, actually, before I spoil it, go ahead and click that link if this is the first one you're seeing and you can follow along and then pick up right back here. But if you're joining us for the second time, we are continuing our mission to get fit for 2020. And we're gonna keep this up all throughout the month of January, three times a week, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So not only are you inspiring me to continue to keep up with Ring Fit, but hopefully in some small way, I'm also helping you to increase your strength, stamina, and flexibility so that we can make 2020 our fittest year yet. Uh, I'm ready to take on World 2. We're already level four. Let's see what we have in store. That was almost a really cool run. Our workout buddy Tip is asking us if we want to stretch. I'm already stretched and ready to go, but if you need to get your stretch on, go ahead and pause this and we'll be waiting right here for you when you get back. Let's get started. World two, the land of night. Last time on TJ Ring Adventure, you joined forces with Ring and nearly defeated Drago before the villain fled. The more Drago trains his dark influence, the stronger he will become. You must stop him. So Drago is over there now. <laughs> you know you've only gotten this far because I was sloppy, right? Well, that's gonna change. Oh, this is where Draco was raised, the land of night, where the sun never rises, and monsters are most active at night. We'll need to be really careful here. All right, sounds serious, guys. All right, no place to go but up. Let's do this. All right, it's recommended for level six. We're not quite that high yet, but I have a feeling we're gonna get there pretty quick. There must be a town close by, right? We've come this far. But if the monsters Draco summoned showed up near town, that'd be really bad. We have to put a stop to Draco's plans. He's too dangerous. All right. All we have to do is reach the goal of Nightcloak Pass. Lots of experience we have. Stick with me, guys. Okay. Feeling ready? I'm feeling ready. Here we go. All right, we know we've become one with the ring when our hair is flaming like that. A pond, okay. We gotta do high knees here so we can get through the pond. You may remember if you were here last time, I'm on the sixth floor of an apartment building, so I might have to soften up my steps here a little bit to the, not hurt the ire of my neighbors. So I'm doing some silly steps, you know why. All right, we gotta suck these up with our vacuum powers by pulling our ring out. Oh, check that, we got some fauna to go on our flora. And monsters, can't forget monsters. These ones are red hoplins. That means they're weak to the overhead press or really any upper body attack. But since up overhead press is the only one we have right now, we're gonna go with this one. Mm. Bam! And the game recommends that you breathe out as you push in. I find it to be a little bit more natural to go the other way, but uh, I think it's just because it's such a protracted time under tension that I have a hard time holding my breath that long. So for me, it's easier to go But I feel like as long as you're remembering to breathe and not holding your breath, you'll be okay. You just gotta keep those lungs oxygenated so that you don't pass out. Because not breathing, no matter what you're doing, is generally ill-advised as humans require oxygen to breathe but you don't need me to tell you that. The yellow ones are nice and slow, but these teal ones here, they are about speed. So we're gonna pick up pace, and three more, two more, last one, boom. Yeah, now we gotta do our ab guard. 
Flex those abdominal shields, everybody. Six-pack shields, I like to call them. Mm, can't get past us. That was great. And also great, but these guys are taking a good chunk out of us. I'm going to stick with attacking Red Hoblin A because that guy is closer to getting defeated. Let's do some abs here. Boom. Hit the floor, everybody. All right. Look straight. And raise. I always just go a little too fast. I gotta relax a little bit. <sighs> Boom! Taekwondo is my sport of choice, and we do a lot of kicking in Taekwondo. Boom! So for me, I like to do this pretty aggressively. Yeah! But you don't have to. This can be nice, slow, easy, relaxed. Boom! Just like that. And got him! Now this is the first time I think that we didn't actually have to complete an exercise. So you just don't finish it if you wind up destroying whatever monster you were using it against. Here we go, another ab guard. It's okay, our abs are still strong. We only did half of that last ab exercise. Well, you've got nothing, Red Hoplin. We're gonna attack you with overhead press. It's back. This one has a pretty good uh, cool down rate. So we can use it, I think, every other turn. All right. We're doing it. Get this guy. Oh, look at those coins just waiting for us over there. I like my, my tight man capris that I'm wearing over there, too. Orange is not exactly my favorite color. But one of the other cool things about this game is there's all kinds of different fashion styles you can change into as you progress through the game. So I can't wait till we can find something else to wear. Not that I have any problem with tight capri pants. As a man, I would just never ever wear them. No offense to all those men out there wearing tight capri pants right now. You do you. You do you. All right, that uh, Red Hoplin's looking a little tired, which is good for us because we can't sustain a whole lot more damage. I say we squat him into smithereens. Let's do this, three, two, one. Down. Boom, we never skip leg day. We got it. Kick you. And those legs. We're getting greats. You know, I have a feeling that all of you at home are getting greats too. Yeah, that's how I know. We just polished him off big time. High five. Us versus the Hoplin, we did it, level five. All right. Everything goes up. We're making some gains. And we get the front press. This is one of my favorite workouts, nice. And you can also see the range here has increased a little bit, so we can attack three guys at once. That's going to be useful. Yes, we want to set this front press. Set. Added that move to our arsenal. And we're running. Let's do this. There is the, uh, I forgot what these things are called. This is a medallion, gold medallion. You're also going to, let's see, let's, can we catch that guy? Nah, he ran off. His hearts are coming, going to come in handy. Oh, I didn't see that log. Sorry, I'm gonna space first into that thing. I'm also gonna run face first into that guy. Boom. All right. Oh, he's blue. That's okay. We'll squat him. I know we just did the squat, but that's what he's weak against. That's one of the fun things about this game too is you never really know what you're gonna face next, and fatigue is a factor. If you get really worn out, you might have to use a move that's not as advantageous against a particular enemy just because you don't got it left in your body. So blue is super effective against these blue guys, but what if our legs are too tired? They're not though, we're tough. We got this. All right. Boom! We're still getting greats. Cause that's how we roll. All right, hold it and attack. All right, I'm feeling it. I am starting to feel it, but I'm still good. Ugh. Now we can speed up. I like the speedy up ones better because I like energetic movement. I know that the time under tension is valuable. And it's good for us building some muscle, but uh, I like that attack feeling that we get. 
when we're moving a little bit quicker. Six pack shield! You got nothing! That was great. All right, the blue kennel bell. That's another one of the really fun things about this game is that I'll, I don't want to use the two of them. Is that, oh, where's our new one? Let's give that new one a try. All right, I know we're gonna probably gonna have to use this one again, but since we just got it, let's try to let's try it on for size. Hmm, good idea. This is working a new muscle for us. It's starting to build those bulging pectoral muscles. That's all I asked for for Christmas. Pachoom. Got him. Take this blue kettlebell. Lots of fun pun names in here. <clears throat> it's not really doing a whole lot of damage though, I can tell. Just take a little sliver off. You see me getting a little wobbly? Uh-oh. All right, gotta concentrate center. Now it's the speed. Good job. Keep breathing over there at home. Tell them you do it, I gotta do it. There we go. All right, ab guard. Something tells me. Oh, oh, oh wait, I slipped. That was almost really bad. Mm. Oh, I don't know how many more of those we can eat, but we got a squat back. All right, enemies, oh, as these enemies are getting tougher, we have to get tougher. Mm. We're gonna make it. It's just the right amount. We're feeling the burn, boom, but we're not burning up. Right, working through it. Make sure you keep those back straight. Don't let your knees go too far on your toes. And he's going to get it. Now it's now it just got serious. I'm ready for you. Got through the slow stuff. Yes! Boom! Win. That felt good. Got you. Alright, this level is recommended for level six. We're not quite there, but we're almost there. Oh, ring, tell me about it. Alright, big jump. Alright, a little bit of money. Let's take that money. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to do some high knees, get through that dirt. Actually, not dirt, it's like muddy sludge. All right, and again, some high knee action. All right, here we go. Sit on those coins, bust that box. Yeah, all right. Keep your eyes out, everybody. I don't want to miss that last medallion. All right, to bust this rock, all we got to do is the abdominal press hold. Let's hold it in there. Bam. That's how it's done. Steel beats rock. Boom. There it is. Grab it. Nice. Oh, we're not going fast enough. There we go. Now we got it. Let's jump onto that thing. All right. And drop your hips and dip to Alright, not gonna check that. Seven minutes to get through nightclub pass. Record time, actually. Probably not. But we did reach level six. Good job, everybody. And we got another heart that's gonna come in handy because these new enemies are doing a lot of damage. Our max heart is increased by one. And we acquired the Overhead Press Hobbyist. New title. Nice battling. Your attack and defense power increases. You train your body. Use this to your advantage in battle. Thanks, Ring. We'll just have to defeat lots of monsters and get even stronger. Good advice. All right, I see that treasure chest. I know you guys see it too. Treasure chests contain all sorts of items. If you find one, you should absolutely check it out. Oh, thanks. I think I will. 
I've played enough Legend of Zelda to know you never leave a chest unexplored. A little bit of extra rings, thank you. We'll take those. And now, oh, grr, eek. Oh, it's her. Eek, <laughs> monsters. Up until now, not a single monster has ever descended upon our town. Oh no, there are people living here. They could all be in danger. Let's defeat the monsters and make sure everyone is safe. Good idea. All right, dash along tower, reach the goal. This is a nice and short one. Let's do it. I said, let's do it. Got it. Second time's the charm. All right, we know our mission. Let's hop to it. All right, bust through the door. Oh, we got some conveyor belts. I think it's running a little easier. Oh, I accept it. It's going down. Actually, look at this. We can stop and then get that one too. <laughs> Worth it. Let's take the high road. Oh, no, we can't. Sorry, I didn't get us high enough up there. That's okay. We'll, we'll take the coins. This was the, the richer road anyway. <gasps> yes! Alright, we gotta go super fast because that's breaking! Ooh. Yes, go! Alright, three monsters here. We're gonna try out our new triple attack move. <sighs> Two out of three are red. That means front press is the right pick. Three, two, one, press! Alright, boom! You guys got it? You feeling it? Nice! Boom! I like to cheat a few more breaths in there than just one. Bam! I do like this one a lot. I try to remember to keep my back straight. I want my chest to be a little bit puffed up. There we go. I'm feeling it fill out. Bam! Oh yeah, speed it up. You can't handle this. We're picking up the pace. No, I mean you guys. I know you guys got it. I'm talking about the hoplins. Too much for the hoplins to handle. Ugh. Now we're probably going to have to pick them off one by one because I think that that move is going to require a little bit of a cool down. Six pack shield. All three of them are attacking us. It's going to deal some damage. All right, all right. Doing okay. All right, why don't we take out Greeny first, because that way we can use the other move to take out the other two. See, I'm strategizing. All right, nice and easy. Breathe out. And in. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance. He's going down right. Abgar time. Okay. Only two of them though this time. But that is going to do some damage. Alright, I don't know how much more of that we can handle. Oh, it's still cooling down. That's okay. We'll do our overhead press, take one of them out, and then we'll handle business on the last one next time. We should be okay. Punching your head. Don't blink, buddy. Boom! Yeah, right in the eyeball, Mike Wazowski. Boom! All right, we're almost there. And is this it? No, one more. One more. He's gone for sure now. You got you, me sucker! Air guard. You ain't breaking through this six-pack shield. All right, can we have our red back? We do. This is quite a few red in a row. That is one of the factors that you have to weigh in this game is, do you have enough left in your body to be able to perform the technique that's most appropriate for your enemy? It might be super effective against Red Mike Wazowski over there. And I don't know about you, but my pecs are starting to feel this. I don't know if I would be too happy to handle to go all the way through the full reps of that one again, but for just a few, we got it. Boom, high five. Yes, all right. Making good progress towards level seven. 
and we're running to the Vanna Bell. Carry us. Oh, this is that bridge. I didn't even know. All right. Oh, I got scared that maybe I could fall down that but My fear was, oh, 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 oh. Stop falling. All we have to do is just puff out of our ring with a few pushes. And we're fine. All right, this is gonna be a big jump. And yes. Oh, we missed the first one. I didn't even know we missed the first one. Lame. All right, that's okay. Ready? Time for a victory pose. Victory! I'm breathing a little heavy. Time to catch your breath, everybody, because we're not done yet. We still got more in store, but we have acquired the 100 Blast Presser. That's what I'm talking about. Master Fit Skills to give yourself a serious advantage in battle. Don't forget to equip new Fit Skills as you earn them. <sighs> Looks like those townspeople escaped. What a relief. But if Drago were to appear in town, then... Well, we can't let that happen. No, we will not, Ring. I'm going to wipe away my sweat. <sighs> all right. The game says we should consider taking a break. How are you guys feeling? Doing all right there at home? Let's keep it going. Yeah, yeah, okay. We know. All right, why don't we try this down here? Welcome, Welcome back, customer. This, this is our first time here. here. Let's, Let's get you registered. I simply need you ready. Pure TJ. Mm, yes, yes, I see. Pure, Pure TJ. TJ. This is company. Excellent. Excellent. Registration complete. This is the game gym where you can play a mini game while you exercise. There are many kinds of mini games, but this location lets you play Robo Wrecker. Oh yeah, I'm about wrecking stuff. All right, let's see what we can do here. Begin. If we get a B rank or higher, looks like we get a reward. All right, all we have to do is, oh, this is pretty awesome. So we drive it like a steering wheel. If we push in, boom, we smash the inner circle. If we pull out, we smash the outer circle. All right, it's gonna rate us on our progress, so let's see how we do. Vroom, 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 vroom. Where are you gonna be? Where are you gonna be? Oh, got you. Hmm. So far, so good. Uh, gold ones, gold ones worth 300. Don't wanna miss one of those. Right, so far, oh, okay, now we get more than one. Get a little tougher. Do it okay though. So far, only oh, out there they are. Boom, 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 boom. We're a machine. We got this. Well, we can't be stopped. We're gonna get all these robots. Oh, I missed one. No, I didn't. I got it. I think I got it. All right, we broke the machine. We broke it. Nope, we didn't break it. It's still going. Well, maybe we broke it, but it's still populating some robots. So let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah. It's getting intense. Uh, 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 bam. Boom. Bam. Boom. Bam. Uh. Perfect! Yes, we missed nothing. We missed nothing. Perfection. Rank S. S tier. All right, it's only our second world and we've already reached S tier, but we cannot rest on our laurels. It's exciting to make this milestone and push us up to level seven. We made some serious gains. We should be proud, but we also have to move on. It ain't over yet. We've acquired the Robo Bopper title and also the Robo Ruiner. We've ruined those robots. All right, wiping the sweat off the back of my neck. Wow. Congrats. Here is your bonus. 150 gold, let's take it. Put it in the bank. All right, that was pretty quick, so I think we got a little bit more left in us. Oh no, I was so focused on picking berries, I didn't even notice how far I was walking. I need to get back home post haste. Ah, there are still people out here. Oh, let's go save that guy. From Disturbance Meadow. Yeah, he needs our help, let's do this. We cannot leave a poor innocent bystander to Drago's dark influence. We know our mission. We're gonna save this villager. Then we're running. Top speed. See that fiery hair? That means we're doing the work. And we're even vacuuming up some money as we go. See, it pays to train. 
Don't forget to breathe, people. And we jump. All right, I see my first medallion. Don't want to miss that thing. I'll probably some sweat. I won't miss that. All right, we got these monsters. It's a trio, three pack. Only one of them's red, but I'm still gonna go with this front press because we get to attack them all at once. All right, sorry today's turning into too much of an upper body day. But we gotta work with what we have, guys. And right now, this is our only attack that we can use to get all three of them at once. I right, made a little bit of a rest in there. Robo Record was using the same press, but it was a lot faster. It was more of a pulsing exercise. Here we had our time under tension. This is the most difficult part to me, is holding it for a protracted period of time. All right, but we're doing some serious damage here. Now, I can't really tell. It doesn't actually look like it's doing any more damage on the red one than it is on the other ones. All right, now we get to the quicker. A little bit easier. I thought that this would be doing some serious damage on Reddy over there. What's the deal? <sighs> okay. Put up that six pack shield, everybody. Uh, boom! I need to engage my legs a little bit more. I'll stand kind of high. Got it. Oh, poor Greeny's tired. That means he's definitely going to attack us next time. Let's get him first. Boom. All right. Everyone, assume the position. For me, this the hardest thing about this one is kind of keeping my, my tail tucked under. I kind of have a tendency to stick my piku out a little bit. Uh, piku is Chinese for derriere, which is French for hiney, which I don't know what language that is. All right, more ab guard. Got him. All right, I don't think we're in any danger of losing this one. Can we do that? Nope. So let's hit, let's do some abs. Let's get some abs in. Oh, he's our target, that guy. All right, everyone hit the mat. Or the floor. I don't want to assume too much about your, your current workout dwelling. All right, you ready? We'll bring them in. And kick them. I don't think it's going to take too many here. And... <sighs> Put you on. Almost got him. All right, this is the one. You're going down. I knew it. All right, hop up. We got this, ab guard. Three, two, one. Try to break through this. That's what I thought. All right, I know we don't need to do overhead press, but I want to do it just to send a message. <sighs> that and I know we're not going to have to do all of them because I don't think that my body wants to do uh, 19 overhead presses right now. We'll see, I'm getting a little wobbly, getting a little wobbly. I'm going to have to focus and center in. <sighs> Last one, this is it. Bam! There he goes. We did it. How are we due for a level up? No, we just got one. Well, we did get quite a bit of experience for that. Not too shabby. Time to run, huh? All right, see that other medallion over there? I'll probably get to, oh, sorry. I totally missed that tree. I just tried to space first into a log. My fault. I'll take full responsibility on that one. Those hearts came in handy. There it is. Sorry, dears. I did not mean to startle you, but I did want to get that coin. Just ran past the box, I think I saw. All kinds of little animals getting underfoot here. And can we bring that thing? No, it's not bell. Last one, right? Boom, we got them all. Oh, here's that villager. How many monsters are there around here? Don't worry, hubby. We got you. Green Scuttlebell. <laughs> That's funny. 
All right, let's use this one. <sighs> ready. All right, keep the tail tucked under. <sighs> breathe out and breathe in as we expand our lungs. <sighs> yes. Oh, this is not doing that much damage to him, I am noticing. And we only get three more to do it. Ugh. Oh, I didn't hold position long enough. Let's find it. Okay. I can tell, it's probably hard to tell at home, but I'm a little poorly calibrated right now, so I'm having to dip a little too far back with that for the ring. So I was making some small adjustments there. He did not seem uh, excited about attacking us, which is okay. We've been doing a lot of upper body, so let's go back to the floor. With some knee to chest. All right, we got this. In three, two, one. <sighs> See how much damage you do here. Okay, it's just taking a little sliver off, a little bit at a time. Uh, it looks like that number of damage it's doing is cumulative, so it's only adding however many on each turn. Looks like six at a time. So if we get it great, each one of them is just gonna whittle six down off of them. Uh, I'm not gonna kid you or myself, I'm not a math guy here, but I am a body guy. I like to work hard. I just don't like to do the math. But I don't mind color coding. I do have some artistic inclinations. I can match green with the green whenever possible. When it comes to crunching the numbers, that's not what appeals to me about an RPG. All right, let's see. Now it's time to see what kind of damage this guy can do. And to have guard. Oh, I felt it was gonna slip a little bit. But now I'm ready. I hope you haven't slipped. Oh, 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 that happened. Oh. Oh. oh! oh! Okay. Alright. I just slingshotted myself. I slingshotted myself in the kettlebell. And it was at a bad time. Because now we're almost dead. We have no way to be able to heal ourselves. So what is gonna do the most damage? Not that. I really don't feel like squatting, friends. All right, let's do the overhead press. I think this is our best shot and we're gonna have to get lucky that he doesn't attack us next time. I think I might have sabotaged our entire effort here. All right. Sometimes on the path to success, you uh, you have to take, you have to fall a few times. Ooh, this is not doing a lot of damage. Again, we're looking at six per time. I guess that might be what a thirty attack amounts to. Okay, we're fighting through it. We're, we're working through pain. Hopefully, you're doing a little bit better out there than I am. But we're still getting great. We're not feeling great, but we're still getting great. And I discovered this shirt is a little slippery. It's not gripping the ring quite as much as I would like. <sighs> All right, we're, doing, we're dipping away, but we cannot absorb another hit from this guy. He's too strong. All right, maybe he's, maybe he's too fatigued. Maybe he's going to take a little breather. Yes! He's too tired of holding up his arms. And we get our chair pose back. Okay, you ready for this? I'm ready for this. All right, here we go. I hope we have enough to beat him here because he is not gonna be too tired next time. All right, we gotta get all these in great. Can't quite tell you yet if it's enough. 
Yeah, we got him. All right, all right, we got a little bit lucky here. All right, we'll take it. That was cutting it pretty close. And we got uh, pretty close to a level up here. Now hopefully we can come across some hearts. Oh, okay, that was the end of it. Great, we saved Tubby. Victory! That, friends, was a near miss. That shot with giblets was almost our undoing. But we leveled up, level eight. I think that's probably a pretty good place to wrap it up for today. I think I'm gonna need to go get some ice. In the meantime, I'd encourage all of you guys to do some stretching because it's not over yet. This was only day two. We're gonna be working hard for the entire month of January. So I'm hoping that you come back and join me throughout the entire month. We're gonna make 2020 our fittest year yet. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Thanks for playing. Myself running giblets. <laughs> well, I guess they'll get a kick out of it. It wasn't even funny. It was just real. Aww. It just happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I was still recording. <laughs>